Joy is the passion or emotion excited by the acquisition or expectation of good. It is the excitement of pleasurable feelings which is caused by success, good fortune, the gratification of desire or something good possessed. It is a rational prospect of possessing what we love or desire, gladness, exultation, exhilaration of spirits. Experiencing joy should be a part of every Christian's life, but it can seem elusive or out of reach. Joy is a fruit of the Holy Spirit produced by God's work in us and is part of God's will for us. We know that even the most mature of God's people experience periods of joylessness. For instance, Job wished he had never been born. King David prayed to be taken away to a place where he would not have to deal with reality. Elijah, even after defeating 450 prophets of Baal with fire called down from heaven, fled into the desert and asked God to take his life. If these men struggled with joy, how can we hope to experience consistent joy in our Christian life? The first thing is to realize that joy is a gift from God, a blessing. The root word for joy in the Greek is kara, which is closely related with the Greek charis for grace. Joy is both a gift from God as well as a response to the gifts of God. Joy comes when we are aware of God's grace and relish His favor. With this in mind, it is evident that one way to experience joy is to focus on God. Instead of dwelling on our own difficulties or those things that rob us of our contentment, we should instead dwell on God. This doesn't mean that we should deny our discontent or stuff away negative emotions. We have to be truthful with ourselves and with God, remembering that He knows our troubles and our grief. Following the examples of many of the psalmists, we can pour out our hearts to God. We can tell Him bluntly all the things that ail us, but then we submit those things to Him and remember who He is and be happy in Him. The book of Philippians has much to say about joy, even though Paul wrote the epistle from prison. Paul wrote to the church of Philippi and gives us guidelines for experiencing joy in the Christian life. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. We see here the importance of praising God remembering that He is near, praying about our worries, and keeping our minds focused on the good things of God. We can experience joy when we intentionally praise Him and thank Him for all He does. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Here David tells us that the study of God's Word can bring about joy. We experience joy by communing with God through prayer, and we experience joy by keeping our focus on godly things rather than on difficult circumstances or discontentment. Jesus also gave some instructions regarding joy. The key to joy is to live in obedience to God. Jesus talked about abiding in Him and obeying Him. He said, As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. One of the keys to joy is living in obedience to God. 
Another way to experience joy in the Christian life is through community. God gave Elijah rest and then sent a man, Elisha, to help him. We too need friends that we can share our hurts and pains with. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. Because of the grace of God, we know we can approach God confidently in prayer. We know we are cleansed of our sin, and we are joined into a new community, a family of believers. With our fellow believers, we hold firm to our faith, trusting in the character of God. We also encourage one another. Christians do not belong to this world. We long to be with God, finally restored to our original design. Life can be lonely and discouraging. Others help remind us of truth, carry our burdens with us, and strengthen us to continue on. Joy is meant to be a hallmark of the Christian life. It is the fruit of the Holy Spirit and a gift from God. We best receive this gift when we focus on the truth of who God is, communicate with Him through prayer, and rely on the community of believers He has provided.